What up, it's your boy Darth back at it again with another video, and today we are here with Shudder by Yuri. Um, I think, have we? I feel like we listened to this specific artist um, on first take before, but I may just be thinking of somebody else. Um, I don't know why the, I don't maybe the name Yuri or just the the name and the song seem familiar to me for some reason I'm not sure uh, but since I know since I seemingly know fuck all about it we're gonna just hop straight into it don't really have much of a, any like predictions on what kind of song this is gonna be but as usual with first take it's usually pretty it's usually pretty good so uh we're gonna hop straight into it if you haven't already subscribe like comment all those stuff you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more yuri or something totally different the best place in that end is always my social media link's gonna be in the description and you can also comment down below um so yeah that, that's pretty much that's pretty much all i gotta say on this let's get our headphones <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they're on. I just turned. Um. Oh God! Why? Them bitches is on, and let's just get into it. Okay. I, uh, obligatory. The drip is hard. Like, I, is that beige? Very seldomly have I seen somebody rock some, like, grayish beige kind of color on their body like that. That's crazy. Okay, hold up. This, this might be emotional as fuck. All right. Fuck. Okay. Right, well, this is like a song about a kind of like a shut-in seems like like just off the first couple of lines mm. this is definitely a song i'm about to look at the lyrics for Mm. Oh, God damn. I need to hear the story behind this. But also, this is this is a song where like I'm gonna try my best to look at the lyrics, but his mm, but his voice is going so stupid that's gonna be kind of hard. Okay. Now that drop is dumb, and you know how much I love drops. Okay. Damn. Holy fuck. Oh, this is feelings for real. This is personal. Like, you know when you can truly... This is like one of those moments where you can truly feel that a song is personal as hell to somebody. So it's like he's it kind of seems like he's 
I don't, we'll talk about it later. We'll, we'll talk about it after this, because God, he's going dumb, right? Like, he is singing his heart out right now. God. Mmm, damn, he's going dumb. Mm. Damn, hold up. Oh, this is so real. Nah, bro, cuz I'm. No. Why did hold up, bro? Why is this song like like low key making me a little emotional? God damn! Nah, that song went by a little too fast for me. That song went by a little too fast for me. So, first off, no, I do not know know who this is. Now I do, but before this, I then I thought you know, like I was saying in the, in the intro, I feel like he was like his name seemed kind of um, familiar. Uh, seemed like I knew his music from somewhere, or something like that. No, I do not. If I did, I would have remembered this guy <laughs> because I don't want to say that it's difficult to convey feelings through a song because it's not because most songs are most, if not all songs are created from feelings. But it is very difficult to find a song that is so personal to the artist that when they perform it, you yourself as the listener feel every emotion that that artist conveys on wax. I know nothing about this man's friend friend um, I know nothing about this man but when I tell you that him singing almost like him singing paired with like looking actually I'm, I'm so glad that I tried my best to like keep up with the lyrics as well because him singing paired with the lyrics was that shit all that shit almost kind of moved me a little bit. I was like, "Hold up, nigga," because uh, I, I had to check myself for I had to check myself for a bit. I was like, "Now nah, I know you ain't gonna cry like no bitch." I was like, "Nah, I ain't gonna cry. I, I'm I'm not crying for real. You crying for real?" So I, I had to check myself for for a little bit. I was like, "Hold up now," because you're not about to do this to me. So I, okay, that was a really fucking good song. That was a really that was a really fucking good performance like really fun that that is that's a top tier performance right there that is a top tier performance right there and i i know i say this a lot but i am definitely interested in his discography now after that one song oh yeah i'm gonna need to i'm gonna need to hear some more i'm gonna need to hear some more um getting back to the song a little bit though because uh, you know i feel like uh we do have i you know as much as i don't feel like i fully grasped um the full scope and meaning of the song you know on the first listen i feel like we i do need to do a song like this it's due diligence by talking about the lyrics 
the song lyrically is written very fucking well very very well um um using you know using the real world um at like real world apps like you know twitter instagram and stuff like that um kind of makes it to where you yourself can kind of relate to the song a little bit more and of course you can relate to it because it's a personal story or a personal song about you know real people um so of course you can relate to it but you know saying things like instagram twitter you know you kind of you kind of get you kind of get the setting of of the song a little bit more it's um it's him dealing with pig what i'm going to assume is pictures of this loved one i'm going to call them because he says it's a friend but and it may be but like the way that song was going and, okay a friend you know but hearing or uh, having that real world understanding of what the setting is like in the song being about like pictures of his friend you know uh being enamored by them and you know kind of holding those memories of those pictures and him not wanting to what i'm going to understand it to be and you know correct me if i'm wrong you know i'm all up, i'm up for having a conversation i'm so up for having a conversation about this song this song is so interesting but him being enamored with these pictures um in these in these crystallized memories of good times and um him or this his friend um being crystallized in in like memories of perfection that he cannot fuck up that from what i saw from the from the little amount that i understood from the song are things that he himself feels like he could fuck up real world like real world he feel like he feels like he could fuck that up so him holding on to these pictures memories and all this other stuff you know taking the or i'm not sure if he specifically was the one taking these pictures because he does say that he spent more time on the shutter button than he spent more time touching the shutter button than touching uh uh his friend uh i don't know if he's taking the pictures or you know these are just random pictures uh but he like i said he himself feels like he could fuck that up real world so him being so in consumed in holding on to those crystallizations it seems like he himself j fucked it up by doing that he lost uh this this friend however he however it in however this relationship ended he lost his friend and now he blames himself not because not because like you know they fell out or something but he feels like he could have did more than just like sit there and uh fawn over the you know as i say crystallizations of memories that can be that can be saw seen as perf like perfect because they can't change um because he can't fuck it up in some way he still fucked it up um it's it's just a really interesting uh it's a really interesting song uh lyrically and you know from us from the standpoint of like just music you know, like vocally the song's phenomenal the song is phenomenal and i could talk on you know on like with no end about how good the song is but talking like not a lot of people have have, have the chops when it comes lyrically not a lot of people this man got it that that was really good um so hearing this song hearing how beautifully it was written um and how amazing his his voice is i do feel like just like the song we do still have to do our due diligence to the music itself vocally this man was going dumb this man has a very solid voice 
He's a strong voice. He's a very strong voice. But I think one of the biggest, like, important things about the about the vocals here is that they were solid. There was no crack. There was no like. There was no imperfections in this man's voice at all. This was the perfect vocal performance. There was he didn't fuck up anywhere. This was just raw emotion and you can't fuck that up you can't there, that's that's just not how how emotions work as long as you show them you're doing fine you know whether for for better or worse as long as you show them you're doing fine the only time that you fuck up emotions is when you don't show them so hearing this man use his emotions put it on wax and sing his fucking heart out perfect perfect vocal perfect vocal clinic that he just put on you know that was that was that was amazing that was amazing solid vocals strong vocals the song had had substance you know lyrically you know outside of the music the song lyrically had substance which is always a huge plus in my book this was just really this was a really fucking good song. Just really, really good. Um, I'm glad I listened to this because now I gotta, gotta listen to more, Loki. <laughs> gotta listen to more. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, this was all around like a fantastic song, a fantastic performance. Really glad I listened to this. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't see how, how how that gets better. <laughs> I can't say I, I can't say enough about that. I don't see how that gets better because that that was that was perfect. That was literally perfect. Had me emotional and I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't really uh, you know I like I said I had to check myself. I was like, hold up now. Can't be a bitch now. <laughs> uh, uh that's hypocritical. <laughs> uh <laughs> all right, so uh go ahead stop talking before this video ends up being like 30 minutes um if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more um yuri i hope that's i hope i'm saying his name right yuri or something totally different the best place to send that in it's always in my social media links are going to be in the description um you can also comment i really need to start saying that you can also comment below if you have any suggestions or requests so with all that being said get my off button ready you all stay amazing stay safe and take care of yourselves